Hey everyone, Pharmacist Ben here. I want to talk to you a little today about something called chitin. This is an article I got from the National Institute of Complementary and Alternative Medicine of the National Institute of Health. Crab and other crustacean shells may help prevent and treat inflammatory diseases. Apparently, crab and other crustacean shells contain a microparticle called chitin, which is, uh, it's, uh, has been shown to have anti-inflammatory properties. Well, this is understandable when you understand what chitin really is. Chitin is a substance that's made up of N-acetylglucosamine. Now, most people have heard of glucosamine as a treatment for arthritis, but what a lot of folks don't recognize is that glucosamine is a building block for wound healing. It's a building block for the growth of tissue, specifically something called connective tissue, which makes up 25% or so of the body. Because how we age is largely a connective tissue problem. Glucosamine thus has anti-aging properties. How we wrinkle uh, is a connective tissue problem. Thus, glucosamine has anti-wrinkle properties. Heart disease is in many ways a connective tissue problem. Thus, glucosamine can be used to treat heart disease. And finally, According to this article, because irritable bowel disease, IBD, has, an has a uh, connective tissue component that's related to inflammation, using chitin, which contains glucosamine, can have benefits for folks dealing with irritable bowel disease, uh, inflammatory bowel disease, or IBD. Not working as an anti-inflammatory the way drugs work, which is to say not suppressing the chemistry of inflammation, but taking care of the problem that's causing the inflammation in the first place. See, drugs work by knocking out chemistry, poisoning biochemistry. What we're talking about here using supplements, specifically chitosan, which is a derivative, a supplement derivative of chitin, or glucosamine, or N-acetylglucosamine, as a supplement, you can actually take care of the problem that's causing the inflammation, taking care of the problem in the first place, so you won't have to deal with the inflammation. See, it's a different mechanism, taking care of the problem rather than suppressing the body's response to the problem. Uh, glucosamine is just wonderful, wonderful stuff. Uh, as I say, chitin is made up of glucosamine. Chitosan is a derivative of chitin, a processed derivative of chitin that you can get as a supplement. Uh, it contains glucosamine and something called N-acetylglucosamine, a blend of the two. This is an article I got from the International Journal of Cosmetic Science. N-acetylglucosamine modulates the function of the skin fibroblasts. The fibroblasts are the cells that make the connective tissue in the skin. They make collagen. They make the, uh, the, what's called the ground substance that supports the collagen. That is uh, materials like hyaluronic acid, which most folks have heard of. Uh, and acetylglucosamine can help stimulate and enhance the activity of these fibroblasts. We conclude, this is the conclusion, we conclude that NAG-induced changes in the skin fibroblast properties may be important for the prevention of age-dependent changes in its, that is the skin's, structure and function. Glucosamine for wound healing. This is from the journal Medical Hypothesis. Scientists concluded that administration of adequate amounts of glucosamine during the first few months after surgery or trauma can be expected to enhance hyaluronic acid production in the wound, promoting swifter healing and possibly diminishing complications related to scarring. This is so important. You can use glucosamine supplements not just to enhance healing, but to prevent scarring, but you got to do it as soon as you have the trauma. That is pre-surgery, post-surgery, also right after you get your wound. Finally, from the molecular, uh, journal Molecular Cell Biochemistry, influence of aloe vera on collagen characteristics in healing dermal wounds in rats. Wounds were treated either by topical application or oral administration of aloe vera, and both treatments were found to result in improved healing effects. That means more collagen by using aloe. Aloe contains glucosamine and uh, N acetyl glucosamine. Aloe vera is an incredible healing substance, largely because of its glucosamine and N acetyl glucosamine content, but it also contains zinc and something called salicylic acid and B vitamins and electrolytes. Aloe vera is another one of those incredible multifunctional nutritional supplements. So use chitosan, use glucosamine. Use aloe vera, use bone broth protein. Mushrooms, by the way, are also a good source of glucosamine, all for irritable, uh, uh, inflammatory bowel disease, inflammatory disease in general, connective tissue health issues, if you want to stay young longer, and if you want to look young longer. Thank you so much for listening. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later.